A reframe means that you basically take what they say and you change the perspective. Okay, so did, you did a, you had an example. Okay, for example, I reframed Lisa, Lisa's fake Lisa, on um, this idea of doing it on her own. Because if I just let her say I'm gonna do it on her own, and I actually reward her for that, then she's not gonna wanna work with me because she wants to do it on her own. So I'm saying, what you mean by that when you wanna do it on your own? Like, first I say, well, have you done it on your own yet? She's like, no. I'm like, okay, so I think what you mean by that is that you'd like to learn enough and you're willing to work with someone um, so that you can do it on your own. So would it be valuable if we worked together and we did it together, but then you did it on your own later? You can do it on your own for the rest of your life if you want. Yeah, that's a reframe, okay? Another example, give me either an objection or something you might hear that I can do a reframe on. Okay, I'm just not good at speaking. So a reframe, let me use that one as it's easier as a reframe. So I'm just not good at speaking. So first of all, I'd acknowledge that. So I totally get that you feel like you're not good at speaking. And I might actually go into that deeper, like what makes you think you're not good at it? And, say, and they say, oh, well, I went out there and I totally messed up, I got in front of people and I just, I couldn't even speak. Wow, that must be like that, how did that feel for you? That felt really humiliating, I get it. So understand why you made that connection and why you're not good at speaking. Um, but do you think people were born just good at speaking? I'm curious, because most people actually have to train. Like even Obama, who is a very, very good speaker, like he went, I don't happen to know this, but I'm assuming this is true, like he went through a ton of speaking um, training to become that good at speaking. So is it possible that it's not that you're not good at speaking, it's just that you haven't had enough training? Yeah, that's actually a question format for a reframe. What if they said, I want to go with someone who's cheaper? So I understand that you want to go with someone who's cheaper. But my question is, would you rather, like, are you more focused on the price, just making sure that you pay less? Or do you want to make sure that it doesn't cost you as much? Because there's a difference. You can pay less. I can do this for a dollar and actually do nothing and deliver nothing. Then you paid nothing, but it cost you a lot because you put your time and your energy and you made the commitment and then you got no result. And it's possible if you go with someone else, even though, it costs, even though it costs less money, it actually costs your company more because they might make the mistakes and not deliver on their promises and you won't get the result. So would you rather get the result or do you wanna just pay less money? That's a reframe on that. So one way to reframe is to use their objection as the reason why they need you, right? I don't have the time. I totally get it, you don't have the time, which is exactly why you need this program because this program is gonna allow you to have more time. And don't worry, because it's an exchange of time. What if all the time that you spent right now not getting the result, you could actually take that same amount of time and spend it getting the result? Like, would that be worth it to you? Cool, okay? But I want you to get reframing because I'm constantly doing that reframe, okay? Not just, not just with objections, but just also to let them see another perspective, you know? It's partly an objection, but it, it could be just that they're, you know, they, they're not making the connection. You know, just like with, I want to do it on my own. No, she doesn't. I had to reframe her on that. She wasn't even using the objection. She just, in the process, thinks that she needs to do it on her own. And I'm like, actually, no, you don't. But let me reframe you and just tell you, instead of telling you you're wrong. If I tell you, no, you don't need to do it on your own. You need, to, this is what people do in sales so often. They just try to convince, they try to convince. Like, no, 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 you, you, don't, you shouldn't do it on your own. And this is why. Now I'm totally arguing with them and I'm not aligning with them. I gotta align with them. Yeah, I get it, you wanna do it on your own, but maybe, is it possible that you mean you want help first so that you can do it on your own? Yeah, cool, totally aligned.